What's up, Spikes? We're back in the studio today uh, with some new faces. Uh, Jerry. Oh, hi. I've never yeah. been here before. No, Jerry's got an old face. Um, no, we're here with Sean. This is our good friend, Sean. Uh, yeah, you can follow him. We'll put his thing in the thing. Oh, boy. Um, not, not, not like in that way, though. <laughs> anyway, now that this has gone fully off the rails. Safe for work. Uh, I, I want to butt our sponsor announcement right up against what I just said. Uh, Gamegenic. Thanks, Gamegenic. Uh, sponsors the entire channel and sends us all sorts of cool stuff. You can see it all behind me here. Also, uh, the sleeves. They're awesome. The playmats, they're awesome. You can see the Game Genic sleeves here. Uh, as well as this playmat right here. This is my playmat? Why is your stuff on my playmat? <laughs> Wanna tell us about this? <laughs> sure. Um, so this is Spike Feeder Cereal. This is our Kickstarter that by the time this episode airs should be almost finished. So you'll be able to get this playmat that's illustrated by Mike Burns, as well as a lot of other really cool prizes, cereal box prizes. So yeah, check it out. The link should be in the, in the show notes. Uh, yeah, and with uh, with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. We're playing some casual Commander today, uh, and I am playing Torwaki and Obosh. This is a Rakdos deck. Uh, every card in the deck costs one or is a land. Uh, so that's the theme. Uh, normally Obosh would say only odd cards, but I have said only one drops. Uh, it's uh, The idea is I'm getting Torwaki out, I'm casting a bunch of one drops and using Torwaki's trigger to machine gun the board and people's faces. I'm Sean. How's it going? Uh, today I'm playing Sadisi Brood Tyrants. All I ever want to do in Magic is dump my entire deck into my graveyard, so we're going to do that, make some zombies, and then hopefully get everyone with the big crater hoof. Har har fiddly d, being a pirate is all right with Jerry. Jerry's on some pirates today, and uh, he, I'm looking forward to stealing some stuff, uh, getting a bunch of treasures, and just having a rowdy time with some rum. Har har diddly d. <laughs> Italy 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 oh, I'm please. sorry. I'm sorry. Don't misquote him. Yeah. That's misinformation. <laughs> I'm playing Nezahal, Primal Tide. Uh, we're going to the ocean today. We're going to play lots of krakens and fish and big creatures and sweep everybody away. Especially the pirates. <gasps> Especially. Especially. Pirates don't survive wow, very well like in the showdown. ocean. <gasps> It's like well, a we can team up. We might work really well together. Yeah, there no. we go. Yeah. <laughs> team no Hawaiian shirts versus Team Hawaiian shirts. This isn't a Hawaiian shirt. It's close. I got this in Winnipeg. There's <laughs> leaves. <laughs> Shout out to Boathouse, not sponsored. Um, yeah, anyway, I won the die roll, so I'm going to start us off. I'll draw a card. Oh, I'm a turbo genius. I would like to play this snow covered swamp that I totally didn't just draw and cast Imperial Seal. Blood Chief Ascension. Oh, we're dead. That's a good card. That's an enchantment. Uh, whenever somebody takes two damage, one of you takes two damage. In the end step, this gets a counter. Once it's got three counters on it, anytime a card hits your graveyard from anywhere, I'm going to drain you for two life. And then I'm going to pass. I'll draw for my turn. Speaking of Mad two damage, I'll play Dark Slick Shores and then cast the Gravecrawler. Oh, that's two Ooh. damage. Jerry, go ahead. Untap, upkeep, draw. Verdant Catacombs, pass the turn. All right, draw a card. I'm going to play Halimar Depths, tapped. And look at the top three cards and put them back in any order. Like that. Pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap, draw a card. I will play a snow-covered mountain, and uh, I think I'm just gonna cast a Basilisk Caller. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm pretty worried about it. <laughs> I'll pass. Sure, untap, draw for my turn, reveal to the world my embarrassing mana base, and play a Reliquary Tower. Jim, I believe I will attack you with the Grave card. That's so rude. <laughs> yeah, I'll take two. Take two. That thing's a two-one? That is a two-one. It's like better than Savannah Lion. <laughs> And I'll cast the Mire Triton. It is a 2-1 Death Touch Zombie Merfolk. When it enters the battlefield, put the top two cards of my library into my graveyard, and then gain two life. So traverse the Ulvenwald and Old Rutstein, hit the bin. And you're at 42? I am at 42. All right. Jerry, go ahead. End of your turn. I'm going to crack Verdant Catacombs. I'll get the Watery Grave tapped, going to 39. All right, move to my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play a Swamp. And then tapping two mana, I'm gonna play a Mind Stone. Best turn. All right, untap and draw. I'm gonna play a Misty and I'm going to crack it going to 39. So off my Misty, I'm gonna get this Island uh, and then I'm gonna cast a Star Compass, which comes into play tapped and pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap, draw a card. I'm gonna play a Cher Heap. Uh, that's a utility land. Taps for colorless and then also makes tokens if I oh. tap one in a red. That's it for me, go ahead. All right, so untap. Draw for my turn. 
And then I think going to do some attacking. Mm -hmm. And uh, that Blood Chief Ascension just makes it real easy to pick my target here. So <coughs> both my zombies coming at you, Jim. Oh, wow. Is both for two. Two one and a two one? Two one and a two one. Which one's better? Um, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't if either really better. Matters. I'm going to activate Hair Heap. Uh, to make a very short-lived token, and I'll block the Mire Triton. Sounds good to me. They'll trade. Yep. And oh no, they won't trade. No, it's a zero it's a one. Zero it's a zero one. one. That's so sad. <laughs> I'll take two, going to thirty-six. Perfect. And I'll I'll pass Sean's turn. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sean's going to pass his turn. Yeah. I'm making a land drop here. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play a polluted Delta. And then doing what all good Polluted Deltas do, I'm going to crack it right away, going to 38. Steam Vince, Steam Vince, Steam Vince, Steam Vince, Steam Vince. What do you think he's getting? <laughs> <laughs> Probably an island. <laughs> I will get this Steam Vince untapped, going down to 36. I will then tap four mana, including a red, and playing out a Captivating Crew. Oh boy. Which allows me to pay four to gain control of target creature and opponent controls until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn, and I can only do that as a sorcery. I will move to my end step. Very good. I think you have a Blood Chief Ascension trigger, because I have lost three life this turn. You've lost three life this turn, Jerry. He's the best player on my team. <laughs> Full untap. Draw for my turn. Play an island. Cast Thada Ado. Oh. Acquisitor. We're going to get acquired. I would love to acquire. Pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. I'll draw a card. I'll play a snow-covered mountain. And you know what? Just just for the heck of it, I'm going to cast this Relic of Progenitus. I don't have any follow-ups. Uh, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could stop attacking me, and then we'll see how far that gets you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> untap. This is going to be a land. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's not me this time. I wonder if these two ones are going to be good enough to get there here. Well, you've already dealt the most damage. That is true. Jim's still the only one without real blockers, so... <laughs> I mean without real... Well, well, hang on. Would this change your mind? Uh, at the end of your pre-combat main phase, I'm uh -oh. going to make a kobold. It doesn't change my mind at all. Oh, I thought it might. <laughs> Four whole damage coming your way. Okay, I'll block one of them. Okay, sounds good. Doesn't matter which one. I'll take two. Go to 34. 34. Pass my turn again. Untap. Mm -hmm. Upkeep. Draw. Play a Marsh Flats' land for turn. Steal uh, Thada Adele. Oh, Thada Adele has been acquired. Har har fiddly dee. Going to combat is all right with me. <laughs> is that a pirate now? <laughs> no. Why oh, is he so unflavored? <laughs> um, Thada Adele. Pillager. I'm actually going to leave yeah. Captain Vading Crew back. I'm pretty positive Maddie runs the most fast artifact ramp. I don't think I do. I. But it's not my deck guy. I, I was about to say, I'm pretty positive you do. <laughs> So I'm going to two ya with your own Thada. I'm you. <laughs> That's All right. fine. I'm going a uh, 37. Whoop. 37. And I, I would like to look at your deck. Uh, I'm going to get this Soul Ring. And in order to cast it, I'm going to crack this Marsh Flats going down to 35. Get the Swamp. Tap this Swamp. Play the Soul Ring. Mm -hmm. I will then move to my end step. And uh, there you go. Thanks. Uh, in your end step... Uh, Blood Chief Ascension triggers because Maddie lost two life. Go ahead. I'm sorry, what does this have to get up to again? Three. Three. Oh boy. So, Don't worry. All right. it's, okay. Untap. it's okay. It won't do anything, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It, it's nothing, I'm sure. Play an island and I'm going to attack Jim. Uh, yeah, I'll take two. Okay. Go to 32. I would like to search your deck. Okay, so from Jim's deck, I'm going to grab this Soul Ring. Uh, I'm going to tap the Star Compass to cast it. Oh, and Jim then, needs that soul ring. I'm sorry. I needed my soul ring, but <laughs> nobody cared then either. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast the Skyclave Relic and kick it. So when I kick it, it's going to... Jim, hold on. <laughs> Jim's dying. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to cast this thing and kick it and make two copies of it. So I think I'm in tapped and I have two of them. Pass the turn. Uh, in your end step, I'm going to uh, activate Relic. Sean, please exile a card from your graveyard. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm starting to fall behind in this game here. Like <laughs> yeah, I thought like you were walls. ahead, and now we <laughs> yeah, are ahead. <laughs> you kept a greedy hand, apparently. Mm -hmm. What did I say before the game? Nobody's ever been punished by why. keeping this a greedy hand? just hanging out with my Something players. like that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I fell for it. <laughs> I'll adapt. Draw a card. Play a Blood Crypt Untapped, going to 30. And I think I'm going to cast my commander, Torwaki the Younger. That's a 3-3. It's got Reach and Lifelink. 
Uh, it adds one to non-combat sources of damage that uh, damage a permanent or player. And then it also triggers any time I cast an instant or sorcery to deal two damage to something. I'm just going to pass. I will untap. I will draw for my turn. I got a blocker now. It's a 3-3 three, three lifelink. Yeah, I can't attack Jim with my 2-1. I don't really want to give the third counter to that. Uh, Ascension block. there. <laughs> so I think we're uh, just going to do the old proceed to discard here mm -hmm. and... Oh, he's got the reanimate. This was the long con. Yeah, I wish. He's going to like reanimate <laughs> Shouldred. <laughs> <laughs> I think just Death Baron. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. All right. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, okay. What can we do with a drunken sailor? What can we do with a drunken sailor? <laughs> Maddie's loving this. <laughs> the yeah. amount of songs. Find a bridge and jump off. <laughs> That's not part of the song. I think they have planks for that. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to walk the plank. I'm ready. My body is ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to activate Captivating Crew Stealing Fat Adele. Stop! Oh. You're going to put a counter on his thing. That's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> Move to combat. You haven't played much with Jerry, hey? <laughs> Mutually assured destruction. Yeah. Is that a three three? That's three three. Do you have any islands? No. That's a big uh that's a big shame. Uh Sean, I'm gonna two you. No, well, we're gonna go to block here. Oh. Oh, you don't have an island? I don't, oh. no. Oh well, here you go. <laughs> I don't have any lands. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Why did you make that attack? <laughs> well, you I don't could know. have gotten through literally <laughs> on anywhere else at the table. <laughs> that just reads four mana, destroy target creature. Yeah, you don't have to destroy two target anymore. creatures. There's blue right there. <laughs> destroy two target creatures. Yeah, I swung. I thought that was an island. I didn't read the actual land text. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to play a ruthless knave and pass the turn. I am a turn. victim. <laughs> <laughs> I am a victim. <laughs> Untap. Draw a card. Play an island. And spend seven mana to cast my commander. Can't be countered. Uh, I'm going to respond to Nezahal. Mm. Uh, I'm going to pay two life going to 28. Okay. Uh, Madison, I'm going to cast Gutshot targeting you. Me? Yeah. One damage. That's two damage, actually, because of Torwaki. <gasps> two damage. No, yeah. no. Uh, it also triggers Torwaki. Right, 35. So I am going to uh, deal a two damage from the Torwaki trigger to your Ruthless Knave. You what? got it. So that will gain me two life. I'll go back up to 30. And then I have no further responses. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, it doesn't do anything else right now. So uh, tap three to cast Thassa. Oh, boy. Oh, Thassa Adele, god of the sea. God of the ocean. God I'll of pass acquisitions. Yeah. <laughs> You're passing? Yeah. Okay. I'll untap. Oh, sorry. End step. Oh, Blood Chief Ascension is online because you took two damage. I tried to not take two damage. Mm -hmm. I didn't deal you two you damage. Did. I, you I did. I didn't deal first, Sean two you damage. You dealt the first two damage. <sighs> I'll draw a card. <laughs> I'm going to play a snow covered swamp, and then I'm going to pay two, and I'll equip the Basilisk Caller to Torwaki, giving it Death Touch. I sense danger. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> then I'm just going to pass the turn. What? <laughs> what sense more danger. <laughs> what else am I going to do? I need a blocker. I guess so. So I'm looking at all these combination of things here. And did you pick this deck because you knew I was coming here today? <laughs> I mean, I didn't not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Proceeding to my turn here. Realizing I had a real query tower in, in play here, so I did not need to discard to hand size. Thanks gonna... for showing it to us, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody write that down. I mean, never cast it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to draw for turn. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Good Eight. thing you Comes into it. play top land. Uh -huh. Bajuka, <laughs> Bajuka Bog. So who's graveyard do we want to get rid of? I have three lands and a ruthless knave. I have a Thada, mm. Adele, and a Misty. Sean's playing Reanimator. <laughs> I think I'm probably going to exile the Thada, Adele. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. You did try. All right. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> and uh, just going to sit here with my Gravecrawler and <laughs> pass the turn. All right. All right. Third land, though. Third land, yeah. Uh, I may cast something next turn. Mm -hmm. Untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. What I really wanted was another soul ring, but someone got rid of this that Adele, Sean. I'm going to blue, black, two colorless, hostage taker, uh, tar targeting soul ring. <laughs> That's funny. Why? Because I- You yeah. could take those. What am I going to do? You can take his basilisk collar so I can attack him. You can attack him anyway. Put that there. <laughs> play a soul ring. You haven't played much with Jerry, have you? <laughs> uh, play Arid Why Mesa as the lantern. Enemy? I'm just trying to sail the seas, Jerry. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, acquire uh, treasure. And unfortunately, your treasure is the easiest to acquire. I will then look at um, 
the board and see a Neza hall that I don't like. I'm just kidding, Patty. I, yeah. I really can't do more. <laughs> I will tap a black mana for mm -hmm. a dead eye tracker, mm -hmm. which has an activated ability. One in a black tap. Exile two target cards from an opponent's graveyard. Uh, dead eye tracker explores. I'm going to respond to the dead eye tracker. You got it. I'm going to cast Pyroblast, targeting Trigger Nezahal, Nezahal. Trigger Torwaki. So the Torwaki trigger will target your captivating crew, but the Nezahal trigger will resolve first. Also, I would just like to say that Nezahal should have drawn a card off of me casting the Soul Ring. True. Oh, did you cast it? Yes, yeah. it is a I cast. I thought you okay, stole it. So go ahead and draw that one first. Then we can do the the one for the Pyroblast. Draw so draw a card. Pyroblast? Yep. Uh, so now the Torwaki trigger is on the stack targeting Cactivate and crew for two damage with Death Touch. I have no responses. Kay. Anybody? So I'll gain if two. If I did, I wouldn't help you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll gain two off of Lifelink from Torwaki. Sure. And Ascension? Yes. So that hits the graveyard. Yep. I will drain you for two. Okay. <laughs> and we're destroying my... Yes. Nezahal down. So that does hit the graveyard. So yep. I will also drain you for two. And I believe the stack is now empty. <sighs> uh, did I track a resolves? Yep. I will then look to tap three mana and play out a Academy Manufacturer. Oh boy. Pass the turn. Okay, untap. Card. A uh, Scry. Oh Rocky. yeah, Scry, I forget. Well, that's pretty good. I'll keep it on top and draw it. Okay. Ooh, nice. Play a land for the turn. Five, six, seven, nine mana. Recast. Nezahal, Primal Tide. <laughs> That's the turn. Okay, I'm going to Relic Jerry this time. Uh, Polluted Delta down. Okay, then I'll untap. I will draw a card. I'm going to tap one red to cast Faithless Looting. Mm -hmm. Trigger Torwaki. Uh, trigger Nezahal. Trigger Nezahal. Uh, I have to choose a target, but I'm not going to respond to the Nezahal thing. Okay, I'll draw I'll a card. Pop your. That's a 1 1 1 3 2 3. I'll pop the Manufacturer. Yeah. So you drew a card? I did. Okay. Wait, it deals three on every? Oh. Death, death, death. Yeah. It's yeah death, 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 death. Okay. So I will gain two going mm -hmm. to 38. And then when the manufacturer hits Jerry's graveyard, I'll drain him for two going to 40. Jerry goes to 31. Yep. Now. Yes, I did. Faithless looting. I'll draw two cards. I'm going to discard Command Beacon and Ancient Tomb. Then I'm going to tap one and I'll cast Flame Jab. Trigger Nezahal. Trigger Nezahal. I am targeting Sean with this one. Uh, go me. ahead and draw. Uh, sorry, Torwaki Trigger will target Sean as well. Uh, so go ahead and draw. Torwaki Trigger will deal you two, and I will gain two. 40. I'm at 42. Mm -hmm. And then the Flame Jab will deal you another two. And then I'll pass the turn. All right. Untap. Draw. More Guild Gates. <laughs> hey, that one taps for green, though. <laughs> it has a type. <laughs> We're almost online here. Then, I believe, surprise, I have a Death Baron. Mm -hmm. oh. I have never seen this before in my life. Just cross that off my list here. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, let's return the aggression. Going to go to combat. What? Is that a Death Touch? It now has Death Touch. What? It's coming at you for three. Oh, I don't like that. I'll you take should, three. You should block. I'm <laughs> taking three. I'll go to 39. And that's all I got. End of your turn. I'm going to crack this Aired Mesa, taking three total damage because it's going to my graveyard here. Going to 28. I'll go to 41. I'll get this Blood Crypt tapped. Move to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. That is not what I wanted to see. Floating a colorless. I'm going to Dead Eye Tracker exiling two cards from your graveyard, Sean. Rough. Do you, would you like to choose? Or? I think you only have two, don't you? I do. <laughs> Just exile them? It exiles two target cards from an opponent's graveyard, and then it explores. So I will reveal the top card of my library, and if it's a land, I put it into my hand. If it's not, I can leave it there and put a counter on, or I can move that card to the graveyard. Do I draw that card? No. Nope. Then put that card back or put it into your graveyard. Put it into your graveyard. <laughs> 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 I'm going to put it into my hey, hey, I knew you weren't a coward. 26. I'm at 43. Uh, use the colorless floating to crack my mind stone. Taking two. Go to 45. Down to 24, drawing a card. I will then tap my other soul ring because I'm a big cheater and stole two soul rings. And I will play a fell war stone. Mm -hmm. I will then tap... Uh, trigger Nezahal. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm too busy. Like I'm like, you just took four to play this fell war stone. <laughs> Draw yeah. Hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you know anything different? I will then tap three mana and play this fell flagship, Trigger Nezahal. All right. 
Pirate's Eye Control, get plus one plus oh. I will then pass the turn. All right, untap, 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 draw a card, play an island. Six, cast a Kraken. Oh boy. What does that one do? Which Kraken specifically? Uh, <laughs> whenever a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or a Serpent had control deals combat damage to a player, I make a 9-9 Kraken. Oh, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, but it's not online right now, so it's a problem for later. <laughs> Which Kraken is that? Spawning Kraken. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to combat. Do your things have Death Touch? They will. They will? They will. When will they? When I give them Death Touch. Mm. Can you do that right now? Yeah. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> really? Uh, I think what I'm gonna do... <laughs> <laughs> that worked really well! Yeah, I'm like, I didn't even bother to read your cards, like, it's fine, I believe you. <laughs> he, has, on board. he has black uh, mana available. Also, don't need to discard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, in your end step, yeah. I am going to tap one Kay. and crack my relic. Exile all graveyards. Yay. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to do that. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what graveyard? <laughs> no, I should, uh, I should actually just activate Care Keep and make a Kobold. I don't have the token, but I do have another card named Kobolds of Care Keep, so we'll use that as a token. Oh, like a, All right. Uh, you still do have one mana to crack that. I'm oh. not going to. Could you please? Mostly because I have, <laughs> because I have a Flame Jab in my graveyard. Uh -huh. And I plan on drawing lands. Oh, would you look at that? It's a land. Oh, no. <laughs> What's it like? Oh, it's so good. It's, it's not just a land. It's so much more than that. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. It's an enchantment land Urza suck. Oh. Uh, uh, wait, oh no. <laughs> it enters with one. I think I'm gonna take a special game action. I'll tap three and add a card named Obosh oh. the Grey Piercer into my hand. That is a special game action. That's neat. Mm. Then I'm going to pass. Okay, here we go. Need a big turn. Mm -hmm. We'll draw. Oh. This is just the classic. Turn march, the card march, sideways. Classic I March on the Machines got. moment here. <laughs> yeah. What do we do again? Uh, Jim, I'm going to continue the aggression against you here. Coming in for three. Death touch again. In response, like in, in declare attackers, I'm going to make a kobold and block with it. That seems reasonable. As you were. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I'm just going to unsuspiciously pass the turn now. That's very suspicious. <laughs> End of your turn, I'm going to move to my turn. Draw card. Do you know what's unfortunate? I still don't have three other pirates. <laughs> Where? <laughs> you know what, for that, Maddie? Ultimate price your Nezahal. <laughs> wow, trigger Nezahal. <laughs> Draw a card. <laughs> you can blink it if you want to. Oh yeah, I can, I can discard, I forgot. I have abilities. My cards do things, so I'll discard three cards. What do you have? Three lands? Three lands. Okay, cool. So, so cool. It, it does nothing. It's and yeah, it's exiled until you Ascension. Okay. End step. Ascension. <laughs> yeah, end yeah. step. Okay. We've got some ascension triggers. Oh I'm yeah, sorry. right. Don't remind him. Okay, so I knew what I was doing. Blood Don't chief remind him. Blood chief ascension. Blood chief ascension. Blood chief ascension. So I'll that's drain six. you for six, <laughs> and I'll drain you for two. Yeah. So I'll go up to fifty-three. I'll go to twenty-seven. Trey goes to twenty-one. I'm having so much fun. No, twenty-two. I'm at twenty-two. Yeah. We're gonna tap one soul ring, a black mana, and two steam vents. And by steam vent, I mean fellwar stone. So steam vents and fellwar stone, each for a red. And I'm going to attempt to cast a porch razor. I'm gonna flash in a voracious great shark. <laughs> what is that? Which do? counters target artifact or creature spell. I love that card. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh. What, what are you targeting with your? <laughs> I wonder <laughs> if I'm gonna target that port razor. Okay, port razor down. Thanks. That seems I'm gonna prudent. I'm gonna lose two life to the blood. Yeah, chief. you are. <laughs> right. Jerry's at twenty. I like how Maddie and I are just fifty-five. Absolutely. I'm out for blood. When does right. this all come back? End step. Yes. End step. Okay. All yeah. right. I'm gonna activate this uh, this dead eye tracker because I can. I? I'm gonna exile uh, two of your lands. I'll let you pick. Wow. Thanks. I'll choose those islands. Okay. I'm gonna reveal a Phyrexian tower. That's gonna go to my hand. And I will uh, casually pass the turn. All right, and the end step, this comes back. Tapped. And I will untap. That says now a creature. Draw a card. All right, I'm going to go to combat. This will attack Jim. This and this. And this will attack Jerry. Which do I have to stop so I don't make <laughs> you have a Kraken? I would like a Kraken. Kraken. Yeah, I'll just put a hostage taker in front of the Kraken. 
Okay. Do you have any other blocks? No. <laughs> I'll block with my kobolds. Okay. All right. Sounds good. How okay. much damage am I taking? Take 12. I'm down to eight. Oh. And oh, I and take, I, 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 I drain drained. too. So right. I'm down to six. Yeah, I'm up to 57. Well, I should have made it unblockable with that, so that's too bad. Uh, okay, I'm going to play this thing face down for three mana. Morph. Morph. I'm going to cast this Serpent of Yawning Depths for six mana. So my Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents I control can't be blocked except by <laughs> other ones of those. Oh boy. Naturally. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, pass the turn. Uh, I'm going to Relic Jerry in your hand step. Uh, another land's going to go down, probably this Verdant Catacombs. Cool. I'll untap. Draw a card. Ursus Saga up to two. I'm going to pay a red and discard this mountain to retrace Flame Jab from my graveyard. I will target... So that will target Nazal? Uh, I will target Madison with the Flame Jab. It okay. triggers Torwaki. I will target Madison with the Torwaki trigger. Okay. Uh, it triggers Nezahal. I am going to hold priority and cast Desperate Gambit, triggering Torwaki again. Triggering Nezahal again. Triggering Nezahal again. And the Torwaki trigger will target Madison. So Nezahal draw first. Okay. Now the Torwaki trigger, uh, I will deal two damage to you. Yep. Yeah. 25. I'm at, I'm at 59. 50. Okay. Now Desperate Gambit. Choose a source I control and flip a coin. If I win the flip, the next time that source would deal damage this turn, it deals double. If I lose the flip, the next time it would deal damage, prevent it. Okay. So I am going to choose Torwaki as my source. Yep. And I'll flip a coin. Okay, so we'll say uh, the success condition is this side, the logo side. Okay. Okay, so it's going to prevent the second Torwaki trigger. Yeah. But you will still get flame jabbed for two. Okay. So you're at 23. Yep. Uh, these go to the graveyard and... I think I'm just going to pass the turn. I'm sad that it falls to me to do this, but I'm going to go Gary Charm. Targeting your Blood Chief's Ascension. That's so rude. Is it? Uh, let's go Gary, actually. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's fine. Okay, Blood Chief Ascension down. We had a good run. Basically killed Jerry single <laughs> Yeah, really. Okay, <laughs> I will proceed here. Untap, draw. I'm at six already. This Tarwaki is such a problem for me. <laughs> it's not. But in another more accurate sense, it super is. <laughs> yeah. Just going to have to sit here and remain as harmless as possibly can. I'm just going to play a Path of Discovery. Okay. Go ahead. Untap. Upkeep. Draw this mysterious magic card that I absolutely do not know what it is because I have not seen it. What do I want to do? I'm going to start off by just activating uh, Dead Eye Tracker. Jim, just exile the top two cards of your graveyard, please. Blood Chief Ascension and Desperate Gambit. Cool. Uh, explore. That is a Rakdos Signet. It will go to the yard. This is now a 3-3. Three, three. Tap Soul Ring, the first one, and these two cards to play out a Marauding Looter, uh, at the which has Raid. At the beginning of your end step, if you attack with a creature this turn, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. I will then tap... Uh, these four, Bell War Storm for red, blue, black, colors, floating in colors, I'll play Admiral Beckett Brass. Har har fiddly d. I will then, uh, I'll tap Admiral Beckett Brass to crew Fell Flagship and move to combat, and I will declare an attack at Jim for three. Does it have evasion or anything? Nope. It, but it, I will say that when, if it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Oh... It's Obosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to take it, because if not, I'm just going to take like 30 from Maddie. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to declare no blocks. I will discard my Obosh and go to 56. All right, I will then move to my end step. At the end step, I have a raid trigger. Um, I will elect to draw a card, then discard a card. I will discard a Phyrexian Tower. I'm going to cycle this remote aisle at the end of the turn, draw a card. Oh, don't you all miss my Blood Chief Ascension? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. I do. I do. Draw a card. <laughs> Spend eight mana cast. Brinolin the moon kraken. Pardon me? <laughs> That's an ancient ever seen a moon kraken before? Uh, moon kraken. Not seen a moon kraken so before. Common. When Brenolin the moon kraken enters the battlefield, or whenever you cast a spell with CMC, or I guess now mana value, six or greater, you may return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so ETB trigger. Hmm, I have so much power. Uh, you can bounce your own soul ring back to your hand and play your soul ring. I'm gonna. Hit your looter. You don't want your own soul ring? Uh, I'm coming for blood. 
I'm going to be dead regardless. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be dead right now. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go to combat. Yep. Uh, I'm going to activate Thassa's ability to make Thassa unblockable, I guess. Okay. So these four are attacking Jim, and this is attacking Jerry. That actually ended up under the play mat, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Let's remove that from combat, please. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's so much damage. That's a lot of damage. Which ones trigger when they hit? This one? Serpent. This one it just makes it so that too. these can't be blocked unless it's by other Serpent's Krakens. Yeah, but this, this triggers this when Serpent's hit. But this one will make, yeah. Yeah, so this oh, will make nice. two if if they both connect. Hey, hey Sean, buddy, yeah. old pal. Yeah. You got a way to get rid of that Nezahal? Don't help him. Let him die. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> After like the fourth fiddly D. I had it out for you. <laughs> oh, now on my deathbed, I'm going to have to do a good one. Okay, I'm going to activate Care Keep okay. to make a kobold. Yeah. I'll throw that kobold in front of the voracious great shark. Uh, it's a shark. Oh, no, that one you can block. That one I can block. That's the yeah. only one I can block. Yeah. Okay. And I will take uh, 17? 17. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go to 39. I will take death. And then I will trigger and make, what do I make? Two nine nines? Yeah. Two Still nine ranks go nine exile nine the graveyard when die. Uh, they will graveyard. be exiled because we didn't control them before you controlled them. All right, that is yours exiled and that is yours exiled. And I am the death. All right, pass the turn. In your end step, I'm going to activate relic targeting Sean. Go Gary Charm in exile. And then I will activate relic to pop everybody's graveyards. Okay. And I'll draw a card. Then I'll untap. I will draw a card. Sean, I think we've only got one out here. Mm. Your uh, Urza Saga. The Urza Saga. That's what? very <laughs> that's very observant of you. What and one mana artifact do you have that can save us? <laughs> what one mana artifact? Sean, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> uh, the one mana artifact that I'm searching up off of Urza Saga is Urza a big stone. <laughs> uh, creatures with power three or greater don't untap. What? <laughs> You should got a lot of untapped. They just like stuff. casually I'm still uh, whatever, like twenty five <laughs> power untapped. And these button. continue yeah. to make nine nines when they connect because <laughs> that thing still is yeah. alive. Then I'm going to cast Cataract Parasite. So this is a one one, and whenever an opponent draws a card, if I control a red permanent, I can have Cataract Parasite deal one damage to them, oh which will be two because of Torwaki. Then I'm just going to pass. All right, untap, draw. It's taken until now, but I'm going to try to do something cool. Ah, uh, you drew a card, so we have to trigger the. Oh right. Yeah, take two. 36? 36. What? I'm dead. How are you only on He's been playing it safe this whole game. Yeah. Flying into the river. I'm not actually playing any cards. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is what I came here to do. Cast Sadisi. Yeah. Ooh, trigger Sadisi. Sadisi trigger on the stack. Path of Discovery trigger on the stack. So we're going to explore first. That is going to go to my hand. That's the land. Then going to mill the top three cards. Will Health. Demir Aqueduct. Swamp. I mill the creature. Make a zombie. Make a zombie. Mm -hmm. Path of Discovery is going to trigger. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. It's a crater hoof behemoth. Oh, that's pretty good. Put that in here. What kind of idiot would get rid of their Get a large thing. <laughs> immediately <laughs> before this happens. This yeah. will trigger DC Brood Tyrant again. Make a zombie. This yeah. is a combo. Uh, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to respond to this, <laughs> sure. to this Path of Discovery trigger. Yes. I, I think I've had just about enough of this. I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt. Don't do that. <laughs> Targeting Sadisi. Uh, trigger Nezahal. Trigger Nezahal. Draw card. Uh, so the Torwaki oh will God. trigger. I'm going to choose to get rid of your spawning Kraken with the Torwaki damage. Uh, but you can Nezahal draw first. Okay. Parasite trigger, take two. Okay, go to 21. Now yep. the Torwaki will kill the spawning Kraken. So it does six damage? It does uh, oh, two it damage does with death, death touch. damage. Yeah, and I'll gain two off of that going to 41. Okay. And then the lightning bolt will kill Sidisi. I had fun while it lasted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, is that a zombie? Is Sidisi a zombie? No. Okay, good. So it doesn't get buffed. So finally, Path of Discovery trigger. Diagraphical Colossus. <laughs> yep. yep. We'll mill that. Put a trigger on or counter on my zombie here. Play this remote aisle tapped. There's no point in keeping this back, so. I'm not blocking. <laughs> you want to attack me, I'm not blocking. No, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to attack Madison for three with Death Touch. Oh, Death Touch. Smart. Uh, I will take it. Right on. <laughs> and Madison turns yours. All right, untap. Oh, wait. These don't untap. Correct. But the rest of it untaps. Yes. Draw card. Take two. Go to 16. 16. What do I need to deal to you? 41. Wow. That's a lot. Well, there is an alternative. Oh, yeah? You could take 16. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, I will play land. All right, I'm going to tap six. 
and put it here. <laughs> what is it? Uh, it's what? page sun. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to choose blue. So all my blue creatures get plus one, plus one. Uh, trigger Brindle I'm going to bounce Tor Walkie to your hand. What? Oh yeah, this is whenever you cast a spell with Commander Mana cost six or greater, you get to bounce it. What did Tor Walkie do, buddy? <laughs> I, yeah, he, he got it. Wait, what? Right. <laughs> Go to combat. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack you with these. How much? 18, 18 24. 24. I'll take 24. All right, I take 24. What do you Go to 17. Do? It's plus one, plus one, because they're all blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go to so 14. 14. Mm, pass the turn. Okay. I'm feeling pretty dead. <laughs> I will draw a card. Okay, I'm just going to equip the Basilisk Caller to Cataract Parasite. Yep. To give it lifelink. And then I'll pass. Okay. I will proceed to my turn here. Untap. Draw. I will play the Secluded Courtyard and name Zombie. I'm starting to think Maddie's the problem. I think we're just going to try this again and go Sadisi Brew Tyrant. Yeah. Uh, so, Path to Discovery trigger. Dark Salvation. We'll put that in the yard. Sadisi gets one of these. Okay. And then Sadisi trigger. Army of the Damned, Eaten Alive. Lord of the Undead, that is a creature. That'll make a zombie. That'll make a zombie. Mm -hmm. The Trigger zombie path. enters. Trigger's path. Lord of the Accursed. Put that in the yard. Make a zombie. Trigger. The polluted Delta. I guess I draw that, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, that was some fun. I believe I am just going to pass the turn. Go ahead. Okay, untap. None of the creatures untap. Yep. That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> draw card. Playland. And I'm gonna cast Treasure Cruise. Oh, okay. So these tap for double now, so that's six and seven and eight. I was like, where was the eighth one coming from? Uh, draw three. That's just Treasure Cruise. Yeah. Wait, the other one, the, the Ancestral Recall. Thanks. It is just Treasure Cruise. Uh, I would like to tap one and Brainstorm. Yeah. And draw three, put two back. Just put them back like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna spend four mana to cast Kukemsa Pirates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know how you pronounce that. Yeah, I'm running out of space here. So, sorry you guys, I have so many creatures. <laughs> Why can't I hold all these <laughs> creatures? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll spend four mana to cast a Reservoir Kraken. Uh, so at the beginning of each combat, if it's untapped, any opponent can tap an untapped creature they control. And if they do, you can tap this thing and make a blue. Oh, it's Desecration Demon. Fish. I don't have very much else going on. I'll cast a tapped Sky Diamond. I think that's the end of my turn. Okay, in your end step, I'm going to make a Kobold. All right. And then I'll untap. Draw a card. Well, you know what they say. What do they say? No gamble, no future. Oh boy. I would like to cast Gamble. Turn as a whole. Uh, go ahead and draw. You now have a Kobold. Yes. So you now take two. I now have or a sorry, permanent. One. Please take one wow. off the draw. I have shuffled the cards in my hand. We know that one of them is my commander, but we so, are going to choose them via a random method. Madison, <laughs> will you do the honors of rolling a die? This will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Four. Come on. It is not what I tutored for. Ooh. That's too bad. That's technically a one drop. And that's that had, it is a one drop. <laughs> that had really like game show vibes. Yeah. It is not. <laughs> it's like Survivor. He's not the father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm just going to pass the turn. You are, hey? I am. Untap. Draw for turn. I think we just do what we came here to do. Crater hook? Tap five. I will cast. So DC Undead Vizier. Oh. Ooh. That's a much better tutor than Gamble. <laughs> oh, sorry, you took two off of Cataract Parasite. Or one off of oh, Cataract Oh, I have Parasite. not yet. Yeah, 35. 35. Okay. Uh, Sidisi, I have no responses to Sidisi. Okay. Exploit trigger, sack itself. Yep. yep. Gonna go get. Okay, so I have searched my library, and then I have a Path of Discovery trigger for Sidisi. It is a land. Nice. I will pick that up. Good. And then going to cast the card that I came here to cast, and that is Reanimate. Ooh, what are you targeting? Uh, trigger now. Crater Hoof. Yeah, tr please. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> You're triggering. But I will tar target this Crater Hoof Behemoth that's sitting yeah, here. You okay, you got it. All right. Okay, I will lose eight life. Crater Hoof Behemoth will enter the battlefield. How many creatures you got? Uh, I oh, have, God. what, uh, eight? Uh, but I also have. True, yeah. I have a Path Discovery trigger. Yep. It oh, is a mystical nice. tutor. Good. Mm hmm. 
I think we are going to bin that. And okay. put a counter on. Put a counter on good old Crater Hoof here. Okay. All right. How many creatures you got? I have eight, I think. <laughs> yes, eight. Okay, good. Everything gets eight, eight. Everything is plus eight, plus eight. And trample. And trample. Uh, I am going to go to combat. Yep. Nobody's got a problem with that. And I think I'm just going to send... Everything at Madison. Everything at everyone forever. I was about to say, uh, Maddie's at 15 and Jim's at 14. That's your like math. We're both just dead, right? Probably just dead, right? Well, <laughs> declare your tax. I'm going to declare my tax. Don't count your chickens, like ever. So I'm going to send uh, these four at Jim and then these four at Madison. I get a CDC trigger. Okay. Resolve that. Go for it. Go ahead for your CDC. Uh, Crypt Breaker, Siege Zombie, Grim Grin. Okay. That will make a zombie. Yep. That's going to trigger Path of Discovery. <laughs> uh huh. And there's a soul ring. We'll put that in the graveyard. Damn, that's a nice ring. looking soul ring. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, geez, thanks. Okay, so we've got lots coming at me and lots coming at Madison. Yeah. Yeah, so whatever, 32 <laughs> plus 638. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, some, some number, some yeah. large number. I think yeah. it's such a shame that you attacked me with things because now I'm forced to cast darkness oh. to prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Is that what you went and got? It is. Just to foil me yet again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was dead for a <laughs> No, I'm not dead. I do appreciate that Sean put the plus one plus one counters on his creatures because now they don't untap. Yeah, they are all <laughs> just sitting there. <laughs> he kind I'm, of I'm like. I'm so glad you have your gem. He walked right into my trap. You've activated my trap. Yep. Do I have anything else for my turn? I do not. <laughs> Madison, go ahead. What can you do? <laughs> Just sit and laugh. I mean... Yeah. All right, untap. You know, well, what can you do? Take one. 14? 14. You should attack Sean with your big creatures. Mm -hmm. He's got so much life. I have death touch. <laughs> <laughs> Except you actually have. You actually do, yeah. The zombies have death touch? Yeah. That's yeah. sweet. <laughs> All right, I, w I would like to move to combat. Yeah, you got it. Would anybody like to tap something to tap the Kraken? No. I, no? I don't, is it going to make like a bunch of other Krakens or bounce stuff if it hits me? No. No. Okay, you just then. won't be able to block it. Then no. Neat. I uh, will activate Thassa's ability to make this unblockable. Yeah. I will attack. You don't have any cool artifacts, really, do you? No, none. No, uh, none just of them are cool. Only zombies. Yeah. <laughs> I have quite a few. Yeah, I would like your basilisk collar. I think that's the that's the cool one. Something in play. So this one. Oh boy. Will attack Jim. And yeah. This is going to attack Sean. Okay. You can't block it. I yeah. I will not block it. Yeah. Neat. <laughs> So you'll take two, you'll take six. Three and seven, cage seven. Yes. And Madison cool. gains control of my basilisk collar. I would like your basilisk collar. Okay. You have can I to. Take it? No, it's, it's still it's, attached. It's still attached. You have to. Can I take it? You can equip it to something. Can I take it? What, what is the equip cost? Two. All right. Two. Equip to my untapped creature. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to play a flooded shrine as my land for the turn. I'm going to tap four to play a hedron archive. I'm going to tap two and sacrifice it to draw two cards. Okay. Uh, take two. I was really hoping I would draw something sick, and I didn't, so I'll pass the turn. In your end step, I will make a second kobold. Yep. I'll untap, draw a card. I'm going to tap five and cast Torwaki, and then I will pass. I'm going to untap. Yeah, and two, two or less will untap. Oh, two uh, or, power two or less. Three? Power, power two or less untaps, power three or greater. So none of oh, your zombies three, will, yeah, so, because... Yeah. So just Death Baron. Yep. Draw for turn. Mm -hmm. uh, take one. I'm going to play this Misty Rainforest, and I am going to crack it right away. Okay. 18. 18. Okay, I'll find this breeding pool, put it into play tapped. Then from there, I'm going to tap three and cast this Invasion of Amonkhet. Oh, okay. And I think we'll have Jim be the defender of that. Yeah, let's do it. We do this <laughs> let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so when it enters the battlefield, each player mills three cards. Then each opponent discards a card, and Sean draws a card. So let's mill three. Okay. Yeah, All right, Mystic Sanctuary. Preordain, ponder. I've got a subterranean tremors, a snow-covered mountain, and a spike field hazard. And I have dark boar pathway, contaminated aquifer, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, then Maddie discards a card. I will discard my only card in hand. I'll discard an island. Mountain. And I will draw a card, take a damage. Yep, got a 17. Uh, a 17, so. So Sidisi triggers that. Sidisi off triggers that, right? off of this, I will get a zombie. Path of Discovery will see that. Explore. Put this in my hand. And then I'm going to cast this Vengeful Dead. 
Okay, and I actually forgot to draw my card off of your invasion cast, so I'm going to draw a card. Okay, go for it. So Vengeful Dead is a 3-2 zombie. It says whenever it or another zombie is put into a graveyard from play, each opponent loses one life. Okay. So Path of Discovery is going to trigger. Zombie Apocalypse, we will put that in the graveyard. Put another comically large dice here <laughs> and pass the turn. All right, you don't want to attack? No. At the end of the turn, I'm going to sack this Flooded Strand, pay one. All right, I'm going to untap. Uh, so this one does untap, or less. So, uh, draw a card. It's power three, it doesn't untap. Oh, well, it's, it's two, so it's fine. It's three. It's three, it's three. cave sun. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> you will take one damage off drawing a card. Okay. Go to 10. Go to 10, play an island. Okay, I'm going to spend five mana to cast a Storm Surge Kraken. Uh, so as long as I control my commander, it gets plus two, plus two, and whenever, whenever it becomes blocked, I can draw two cards. That might be it, to be honest. Pass the turn. Okay, I will untap, draw a card. I'll play this Blood Pet, and I'll pass. Okay, I will untap my Lance, draw for turn. Take one. Taking one, and then, I don't know, here we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Meat Hook Massacre for six. Oh. That's game, I think. If it resolves, uh, it's gonna be very good. <laughs> Everything gets minus six, minus six. Whenever a creature I control dies, each opponent loses one life. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, I gain, gain a life. life. Yeah. yeah. But then uh, I also have my Vengeful Dead here. So all my zombies dying is going to oh, yeah, everybody for two weeks. That's mega bad. So do you have any responses? Uh, uh, trigger Nazahal. Yeah, Trigger Nazahal, draw a card. Yep. yep. And then you lose a life because you drew a card. Yes. Damage. <laughs> Go to nine. Any more responses? Yeah. That's sure. <laughs> that returns everything to everything? It returns uh, to their owner's hands, all creatures with toughness less than or equal to the number of islands I control. Which is all of them. Which is everything. I just drew that. That's so sweet. Okay. <laughs> wow. All creatures. Yeah. All creatures back to toughness owner's hands. of anything, pretty much. Okay. Any I'm going to pass priority on that. Okay. Anything? I do not have anything. Okay. Creatures back to hand. Then I guess I'm going to play this polluted delta and crack it right away. Go to 15. I will get this watery grave. Mm -hmm. It comes into play untapped. I will go to 13. Mm -hmm. And here we go, starting the rebuild. Grave crawler. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right, untap. Oh, uh, path of discovery. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry, path. Putrefy. Let's leave that on top. Okay. All right, draw card four, five, six, seven to recast as a whole. Sure. And three to recast Thassa. Six to recast the Serpent of Yawning Depths. Uh, five to recast Storm Surge Kraken. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. Yeah. End step. I'm going to make a kobold. Okay. And then I'll untap. Draw. Play a Swamp. Cast a Blood Pet. Cast a Keterek Parasite. Mm -hmm. Cast Torwaki. And I'll pass. Very good. I will untap for turn. I will draw for my turn. Take one. I will. Go to 12. Oh, sorry. You take two because Torwaki oh, is Oh, Torwaki is back. Yes. Yeah, it's 11. Right. Okay, I will cast my CDC again. Uh, I have a response. Oh. Okay. I would like to voracious great shark encounter your creature spell. Remember that? That's, I remember that. <laughs> uh, back to here. Yeah. Uh, so I should tap some mana for that. Yeah, that costs. Oh, yeah, it still only costs four because it was from your hand, right? Yes. Uh, so how do we come back from that? I hope you don't. I don't think I do. <laughs> I think that might have finally, might have finally put me out of my misery there. This and this and. This, we will recast the Death Baron. Mm -hmm. uh, Path of Discovery trigger. Uh, put this in my hand. Okay. Opulent Palace. Pass the turn. Pass the turn, I think, for the All last right. time. Yeah. <laughs> I think we might have it this time. Yep. Draw a card. Uh, Playland. Cast Br Brinolin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Trigger. Uh, trigger. Brinolin is going to bounce. The one that can block? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And gives other things Death Touch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bounce the Death Baron. Then I think I just uh, move to combat. Yep. Um, Thass is going to make itself unblockable. Okay. I think if I attack you with these two, that's lethal. Jim, and then the rest of these, at Sean. Are you sure? They're not going to untap. No. <laughs> 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 it's because they're no, not. No, I think that's it. Yeah. I got nothing. You got anything? No, I'm no. done. No. Right. Okay, that's it. Very cool. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a spicy top deck. That was. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe you engulfed the shore. That was like... Whew. That was like heart of the cards. Yep. Yeah, yep. you got there in the end. Um, 
thanks for joining us, Sean. Yeah, thank you for having me. That was a lot of fun. (laughs) Yeah, super fun. That deck is really good. Yeah, Sidisi is really sweet. Yeah, Sidisi is sweet. I really like that Path of Discovery interaction with Sidisi. That combo is really nice. Yeah, because it's not like a combo combo, but it just means that like every time you cast a creature, you're getting like four zombies. Yeah. Sometimes you get really lucky with that. Yeah, Yeah. and then when you get to Crater Hoof, it's just... I know. Yeah. After the third one happened and I realized what was happening, I'm like, okay, that's <laughs> what happened. Stop. No. Yeah. You know? So we were like, yeah, I, I don't know. It it was sweet. Uh, anything anything that uh, stuck out of the game for you? Um, I struggle a lot with gigantic leviathons and crack. <laughs> you know, most people do. <laughs> it's, uh, it's funny how that you. works. Jerry, what do you think about going to the ocean? Well, I tried stealing everyone's soul rings. I did not get there. I had my soul ring in my hand when I died. I was so close to having the quadfecta but fiddly me it did not work <laughs> fiddly d didn't work <laughs> thanks for coming everybody oh boy well, <laughs> we gotta cut we this go, off before jerry keeps going <laughs> before we go uh we want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor game genic thanks so much for sponsoring the show uh all of you out there in in audience land check out game genic play mats sleeves deck boxes they make the best stuff in the industry uh, and it's not particularly close either. Yeah. It's just, just all really, really good stuff. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you'll probably see a bunch of people's names uh, scrolling by here too. Uh, if you want to become one of those names, you can head over to our Patreon links in the comments and uh, sign up. As little as as little as a dollar a month, you'll get to see these games early. You get to see some uncut uh, patron gameplay where you get to see what we're doing while we are tutoring and stuff like that. Yeah, you made a, a lot, lot of fun of me. Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> there was a lot of stuff in this game, uh, and you'll also get access to our awesome Discord. So yeah. um, go check that out in the in the show notes, and we'll catch you next week.